Do you have pain in your hips? Or are you trying to increase that squat depth? Then keep watching. We're gonna start with the hips today. I'll be showing cars on my, like standing on a single leg, but you can do it lying on your side or in quadruped or four points. We're going through the basics of hip cars standing on one leg. I wanna go through the basics of standing on one leg. It's a lot harder than you think, and there is a lot, of, a lot more muscles that are needed when you stand on one leg. What we want is for the PSISs or the bony parts in the back to be aligned as best as possible. Obviously, it depends on your anatomy, but typically we try to get it aligned with by strengthening glutes or your quads. You want to look like you're essentially standing up straight um, while on just one leg. So to do that, it is core engagement for sure and keeping that pelvis fairly tucked, but a lot of it is that right glute engagement. Some other things to point out when you're on a single leg stance is don't let that knee cave in. Don't let your glute obvious or your hip sway to the right when you're on your right leg. Don't let your foot get up or like come up too much. You wanna dig that big toe into the ground. Okay, now we're finally gonna go through hip cars. First, you wanna drive your knee up to your chest. Bring your heel up like you're kicking a hacky sack. Both happen at the same time. Now maintaining that height of your knee as you move your heel out towards the wall. Now we are going to go around, not allowing any other part of your body to join in on the movement. We're strictly isolating the hip joint as best as we can. Depending on your range of motion, you can cut and not do a full circle here just to make sure there's no pain. Flex the hip, bring the heel up into hip external rotation. Now, as we go around, keeping the hip in flexion, we need to internally rotate the hip to go around. Now we are done half a rep again. Now our hip will go into extension, abduct the hip and internally rotate, then externally rotate in hip flexion and then lower it down. So up, around, down, drive that heel back, go around again and lower. As you can see, my range of motion is not very good. I want to emphasize that it should be pain-free and essentially we're just working on the range you currently have. Try to do this every single day. Let me know in the comments below how it felt after about a week. Your hips should feel a little better. I will be posting more cars videos I will also be talking about pails and rails, which I won't get into right now. Essentially, pails and rails will actually help you increase that range now by adding strength and isometric contractions. Bye, thanks for watching.